I take it this is your first visit to Castilian since Isoro's forces set up? That's right. Feeling nervous? If I'm being honest, yes. Helping a woman rescue her sister, breaking out of jail with an Inquisitor? That stuff's business as usual for me. This planning ahead stuff, on the other hand. I'm used to looking after the crew, but this many people? I'm worried what happens to them if Isoro takes one look at me and doesn't like what he sees. I thought Isoro had a good reputation with you Benarians. I don't put much faith in rumors. He is renowned, though. Even the commoners in the capital know of House Fenice. I suppose it would take someone like that to rally people against the Empire, not to mention whatever comes after. They do have quite the imposing pedigree compared to us, don't they? Exactly. We're just a bunch of backwater fugitives. That's what worries me. Just remember, no matter how famous the Fenice name may be, as political movements go, their rebellion is still young. Right now, gathering allies will be their highest priority. They don't have the luxury of being selective. I wager they'll take anyone with a pulse. That's why I suggested coming here. Well, if the Imperial Inquisitor says so, I guess I better take her word for it. Have I helped ease your concerns? You have. Thanks, Marshal. Now, come on. We've got a rebellion to join. Well, well. If it isn't the mercenary I've been hearing so much about. Eden, wasn't it? Y you knew I was coming? I can't exactly topple an empire by losing sight of events in Benario, now can I? Then I take it you know why I'm here. Rumors are rumors. They don't give you the truth of a man's heart. I want to hear it from you. Why are you here? I... I came here to fight the Empire. I'm sick of being ruled by some hateful old man. Sick of living in a world that's cruel just for the sake of it. And the ones you brought with you? Will you let them die to slake your fury? That's... <sighs> Fine. I'll be straightforward with you. The truth is, I don't give a damn about your movement. Never had the luxury. But the man who ruled our town was rotten. So I killed him. Did you indeed? That's right. I stabbed him in the back. Then we all ran before the army showed up. Why should I risk my people's lives for criminals I've never met? In your position, I'd say the same thing. And if it were just me caught up in this, I wouldn't even be here. But it's not just me. There's good people out there. They never asked for this, but they're here. All I want is to secure a future where they can be safe. Suppose I grant your people protection. What would I gain in return? I'm not asking for protection. Just a place to stay. We'll pull our own weight. But let's make one thing clear. Our goal is to go home. I want to take these people back to Lanetta and return to our lives. Hanging out at the bar, lending an ear to anybody who needs it. Just like old times. If we have to take on the world to do that, so be it. Please. Just give us a chance to be useful. On the other hand, I suppose we could just go hide in the woods until the dust settles. But that's not really my style. It would seem your goals are very different from mine. Even so, if we walk the same road, we may as well travel together. Welcome to Castilian, Eden. 
I only have one request. Let's go beat the bastards. Wow, so even after all that, he still decided to let us in? What's that supposed to mean? I poured my guts out in there. I mean, if it were me, I would have thrown you out as soon as I heard ran away. Then it's a good thing Isoro's nothing like you. I have to admit, that was easier than I expected. You really think we'll be okay? I'm not sure yet. But Marshall was right. He seems like a good person. So I guess we're officially rebels now, eh, brother? Don't get too excited. Your life expectancy just got a lot shorter. Hey, backwater mercenaries to noble revolutionaries? That's a step up in my book. Pity for the Imperial Army, though. They've officially made enemies with the great Francisco. <laughs> so, these are the big, tough rookies everyone can't shut up about, huh? <laughs> Let me guess. Scouting duty? No, that can't be it. This one's too thick around the middle. What's your problem? Easy, Francisco. We can't start a fight just after we've been recruited. You're lucky I'm in a good mood. I knew we were short on troops, but I didn't think we were taking in trash like this. The old man's too kind for his own good. Alright, I've heard enough! Say what you want about me, but when you insult my brothers, I can't let that slide. Ooh, and here I was, just getting bored. What is the meaning of this? Oh, will you please stop giving me that menacing glare? Get back to the camp. I apologize for the behavior of my soldiers. Oh, uh, sure. No problem. I'm sure we'll have a proper introduction later. For now, please excuse me. Ballastar Fenice, Isoro's nephew. They call him the Blade of Benario. Where'd you come from? I was passing by when I smelled the machismo. Thought it best to wait it out. <laughs> Good thinking. What did you mean by Blade of Benario? I've never heard of him. A nickname my countrymen gave him. They believe he's your nation's greatest warrior. I understand he's the one behind Isoro's recent string of victories. So, Benario's sword, and the sharpest edge in his uncle's arsenal. I apologize for calling you all here so early. I have received troubling news from Mora. Lady Esperanza has put in a request for Imperial troops to help pacify local unrest. I believe the intent is to create a rally point for Imperial forces scattered throughout Benario. In addition to the regiment we faced in Portum, it seems the troops who fled Lanetta are also en route. Time is of the essence. I'd like to send Lady Esperanza my warmest regards as soon as possible. If the snakes are gathering, there's no sense bandying about. I'll take command. And bring a swift victory, I expect. But as our battlefront expands, we need to start using you more carefully. 
You can't win every battle by yourself. Hmm? Eden, what do you think? Uh, pardon? How do you feel about taking the lead on this one? Pardon me, my lord, but are you really comfortable putting some country bumpkin in charge? Afraid I have to agree. They only joined yesterday. I don't think it wise. The Imperial soldiers they drove from Lanetta are regrouping. I thought Eden might like the chance to finish them off. Alistar, what are your thoughts on this matter? Mora is close to Lanetta, similar in size. As a first test of his command, can't get much more fair than that. <laughs> yes, yes, my thinking exactly. I hope you're ready for this, my boy. Uh, yeah? I mean, yes, sir. Orders received, sir. I didn't want to oppose you in front of the others, but are you sure about that one? How old were you when I came back from the war? Eight or so? Something like that. When I first saw that boy, he reminded me of you. How so? Not sure myself yet. I suppose only time will tell. Just how much do these people expect from us? Putting this many soldiers under Eden's command... If you ask me, they're hoping we'll screw up. I'll bet you that rotten what's-her-name had something to do with this. Chell or Celeste or whoever. Chelsea. If you're gonna go around making enemies, you might want to remember their names. I don't believe they'd intentionally set us up to fail. There must be a reason so many soldiers were entrusted to us when they're already short on recruits. No matter how much I rack my brain, I can't make sense of it. Well, one thing's for certain. You must have made an impression on Isoro. Great. Just what I needed. More things to worry about. What's the big deal? You've led us plenty of times. It's just like fighting hellhounds, right? Uh, no. It's completely different. Well, whatever the reason, it's done with. For now, let's just focus on making it back in one piece. We can worry about why people like us so much later. Hell yeah! Let's give those Imperials a pounding! Oh, brother. The Lady of Mora has a message for the Rebels. The Imperial forces are on their way here. Surrender now and your lives will be spared. Resist and the Crows will feast on your wretched Rebel hides! That doesn't sound like an empty threat. The fact that they're talking to us at all means they're stalling for time. It would be wise to capture the city as quickly as possible. Right. Little dogs only yap when they're threatened. So, what do you think is a good method of attack? Uh... <laughs> Sorry, afraid I don't have much experience laying siege to things. No need to plan. All we gotta do is open the gate and cut them down one by one, right? Easier said than done. Well, this puzzle's not gonna solve itself. All right, everyone, focus on the gates. 
We'll break through one way or another. Acknowledged. Francisco the Bold has arrived! No matter how careful you are, all it takes is one mistake. I can handle that. As long as Sarah's safe, this whole world can rot. I will bring justice to this land. Tomorrow's a new day! A solid plan. Faith will never betray me. Not everyone can be forgiven. Whether words or swords, I miss nothing. Breached. Now's our chance! Everyone, charge! What are you doing standing around? Stop them! You got it, Cap. When your heart starts racing, slow down and take a moment.
good to grab loot when you can, but remember, getting too greedy on the battlefield is a good way to lose your head. Luck is on my side. People who run their mouths die first. Here it goes! Understood. Think deeply, act quickly. I'll see it through. Marshall. Loud and clear. Open your mouth. I'll put an arrow in it. Light burns the brightest in the dark. The destination doesn't matter. It's the people you're with. No sweat. Out of sight, but not out of mind. Huh. Should have been more careful. It's up to me. You can do this. You can do this. Get it done. As you command. If your blood runs hot, keep your head cool. Fine. Let's roll. Um, where are we going again? I'll see it through. Don't fight. 
fight smarter, fight harder! Probably goes without saying, but if you're thinking of using fire magic against a wet enemy, you might want to rethink it. Sure thing, Cap. Understood. It's a shame, spilling blood on such a nice day. The stronger the heart, the sharper the blade. Starts racing, slow down and take a moment. You can do this, you can do this. Understood. I may not be smart, but I know how to hurt. Should have been more careful. Whether words or swords, I miss nothing. I can handle that. Right! Not everyone can be forgiven. Destination doesn't matter. It's the people you're with.
coming right up! People who run their mouths die first. I will bring justice to this land. Francisco the Bold has arrived! As long as Sarah's safe, this whole world can rot. Tomorrow's a new day! Loud and clear. Acknowledged. As you command. Here we go! Think deeply. Act quickly. Luck is on my side. No sweat. Her Lady Marshall. You got it, Cap. Go ahead. Open your mouth. I'll put an arrow in it. A solid plan. Fight smarter, fight harder! All right. She hasn't said a word since the castle gate. It looks like she's dug in nicely back there. There's nowhere left to run. Everyone, listen up. Take out the soldiers first. Then we go after Lady Esperanza. Faith will never betray me. If your blood runs hot, keep your head cool. No matter how careful you are, all it takes is one mistake. Out of sight, but not out of mind. No problem! Here it goes! You got it! Coming right up! No 
problem. All right. I'll see it through. Tomorrow's a new day! Not everyone can be forgiven. Be smart, but I know how to hurt. It's up to me. Get it done. Whether words or swords, I miss nothing. No matter how careful you are, all it takes is one mistake. I can handle that. Go ahead. Open your mouth. I'll put an arrow in it. Ah! Cowering in the back lines won't protect you. How... how dare you! You vile, lowborn wretch! This lowborn wretch just defeated you. How's it feel? Take her away! Army will wipe you all out! I don't think you're in a position to give threats, lady. I am protected by my fealty to the Emperor. You will never persuade me to surrender, so- Then shut up already. I don't want to talk to you either. What should we do with her? It's not our call. We'll take her to Castilian and leave it to Isoro. Is this the one you mentioned? Yes, that's correct. Sir. Sir! I heard you, I heard you. Damned youngsters always carrying on. 
Don't think I've seen you before, though. <laughs> and look at that. They've even thrown this spoiled little brat in with us drunks. I take it you're one of Isoro's trapping young heroes, huh? Quick guess. How'd you know? <laughs> even a child could put that much together. Any other wise insights you'd care to share with us? Oh, what are you pestering an old geezer for? Go find some other clever young smartass and bother him. I heard the old drunk in the jail was pretty clever himself once. They say he won a bunch of victories in battle. Couldn't be beat when it came to tactics. Lousy little know-it-alls. That one over there tried to recruit me, too. Did you hear about that? I heard you spit in her face. Damn straight. What a demonstration. Go away. Too damn old for another war. Do you know how I took this fortress? I only gave one order. Break through the gates. <laughs> you lucked out and landed a big one. Better hope your luck holds out next time. It barely held this time. A lot of people got hurt, because I didn't know how to lead them. That's war for you. Ugly business. And that's exactly why we need your help. Sure, it's important to win the battle. But with your help, I could save a lot of lives. Saving lives, huh? You are green. So, uh, you say you've heard a lot about me, huh? I have. And there's a drink waiting for you outside. What kind? I don't know. Bartending's not really my thing. I figured I'd just start a tab and let you decide. They call me Gilbert. Eden, I'll be counting on you.
Captain, the camp expansion you requested is complete. Your troops should be able to rest a little more easily now. Well done. I'll go take a look. Sir, any information I can provide? You said something about rapport? Wouldn't it be frowned on for a commander to get too close with their troops? Not at all. Any soldier knows good leadership is built on personal relationships. Getting closer to people will let you learn more about their lives. It's also essential to recruiting new allies. I recommend you make a habit of talking to everyone. Oh, good. I've been holding back so far, but talking to people is what I do best. You said something about rapport? Maintaining good relationships with the people close to you was important. It makes life easier, having people to lean on. When I was a mercenary, our little crew was enough. But I guess now that we're a proper army, we'll have to step it up. What do you think? I think you're on the right track, sir. Figuring out how to build trust with those around you will have direct benefits on the battlefield. But it's not all about battle. It'll make the time between battles more interesting and leave a good impression on potential recruits. All right. Guess I'll just be myself. You said something about rapport? How does someone like you get closer with soldiers in your unit? Same as anyone else, sir. I just talk to them. And listen, of course. How they're feeling, what problems they're facing, things like that. I do my best to help when I can. Oh, and of course, a gift never hurts. Sounds like you put in a lot of work. You must be pretty popular. I do all right, sir. Thank you for the compliment. You said something about rapport? I think I understand all that. Sir, any information I can provide? Thanks for the advice. We'll talk again soon. Yes? <gasps> Whoa! Hmm... Yes? It's worth considering. Hmm. You have my thanks. <laughs> All right. Yes. You have my thanks. <laughs> All right.
well... <laughs> Not sure I follow. <sighs> ah. <laughs> ah. All right. It's worth considering. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. I agree. It's worth considering.
Need something? How's it going? it. Hmm. <laughs> How's it going? Hi there. <sighs> I'm not sure I follow. I'm gonna 
never lose it. it. Much appreciated. Mm -mm. Yes. I can't thank you enough. Yeah? Yeah. Sure.
All right. How may I assist you? How may I assist you? Hmm. Well, <laughs> how may I assist you? My humblest gratitude. Hey. Hey, Cap, get a load of this place. Quite a step up from our previous sleeping arrangements. This should be enough for you lowly soldiers, right, Leon? I'll be sleeping in a castle, of course, being an officer and all. Yeah, 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 very funny. You should take a look around and get familiar with the place. Just try to keep your jaw off the ground, being an officer and all. Hey! Hi there. I'm listening. Hmm. All right.
Mm -hmm. Hey. Hi there. Hey. <laughs> Welcome back. Porter, I can't believe you followed us all this way. I can't believe you remembered my name. When I heard you'd all joined Isoro's rebel faction, I came as fast as I could. Yeah, I'll bet. Gods know you've made enough money off of us. That's quite cold, sir. I assure you, my intentions are nothing but honorable. I'm just a humble merchant looking out for his clientele. All right, all right. But we're in the middle of a war, so don't hold it against me if you leave with empty pockets. If one of us is leaving here with empty pockets, I assure you it won't be me. <laughs> Thanks. Hey. 
So, how are you liking Castilian? It's pretty impressive. I knew this place was bigger than Lanetta, but seeing it in person is another thing. Have you stopped by the markets? Not yet. I've been busy with other things. And they're not lying when they say it's the center of trade around here. Puts Lanetta to shame, that's for sure. Hey, don't knock the markets in Lanetta. We had a wide selection of fish, fish, and more fish. So, did you find anything useful? Just a few odds and ends. Here, you can have this. Present for me? I'm touched. If it doesn't suit you, you can always give it to someone else. Getting a gift from their commander might just make someone's day. That's not a bad idea. I'll give it some thought. Hey. Yeah, thanks. Yeah? How's it going? Looks like I'm not the only one who followed his nose. Right? I was in the middle of training, and next thing I knew, standing here drooling. I heard Sarah had taken over cooking, but man, I wasn't expecting the food around here would change this much. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Robert's cooking too. But it never made your mouth water like this. What do you think she's making over there? Not sure. It smells like some kind of roast. That scent's making me feel kind of funny. I believe that's called hunger. Not that. I mean like nostalgic or something. It reminds me of that job we did near Portum. Remember that tavern we stayed at? Oh yeah. That place we got into a fight and you smashed a bunch of furniture. Yeah, after we got out of there, I swore I'd never go back again. Now I kind of miss it. Sheesh. When did you get so sentimental? Hey, that's what good food does. Brings people together, gets their memory going, starts conversation. Why do you think I'm always going on about it? If the smell alone is enough to do all that, I guess I better go try some. You better hurry. Something tells me there won't be much left. How's it going? Hello. Oh, Eden. I was wondering when you'd drop by. I didn't have much choice. That smell is dangerously good. It's just our mom's old recipe. Andrea was talking about it the other day, and it made me hungry for it. It's making the whole camp hungry now. So, you've appointed yourself camp cook? I thought I should make myself useful to everyone, considering I'm the one who got you all into this. Hey, I didn't say... No, it's fine. It's just... I see the way you all come back after battles, covered in cuts and bruises. I can't help out there, after what happened with... Well, let's just say, I don't have the stomach for combat. But a war isn't just won on the battlefield. And I know my way around a cook fire, so here I am. Oh, I hope that's okay. I don't really know the chain of command around here yet. If it makes you happy, I say go for it. Something tells me nobody's going to complain. Good. Now grab an empty seat and I'll fix you a plate. Ah, uh, you don't have to. I can help myself once everybody else has gotten some. Eden, you're a leader now. Sharing food is one of the best ways to get to know people. It'd be stupid to pass up the chance. You sound like Andrea. Now there's someone you ought to share a meal with. She could use a little socializing. Yeah?
<laughs> What's your problem? Sure. I can't thank you enough. Hey. Hey. Yes. Interesting. Hi there. Sounds good. How's it going? Right. What the heck? <laughs> All right.
What is it? Hi there. Okay. Hmm. A momentary lapse. Uh, well... <laughs> I'm listening. Ah. Yes. I thank you. What is it? Yes. <gasps> A momentary lapse. What is it?
Hi there. Yeah. Hi there. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Hi there. Hey, yeah. Not sure I follow. Mm hmm. Let's see. Hi there. Huh? 
Oh. Let's see. Hi there. Not sure I follow. Yeah? My mistake. Thank you. Hmm. 
Ah. Yeah. I'm not so sure about that. Come again? Ah. <laughs> All right. Yeah? Mm, let me think about it. Right. Yeah? Hi there. Yes. Need something? 